here we go again guys back with part two of the world of Spania our first attempt of winning it we have to try it of course two times before so it's not exactly our first attempt but this time it looks like we're the favorites and now we're into the king stage of the world of Spania the Andorra stage all of these months are in Andorra and I think this is the one where Froome crashed down on the first climb and ended up losing a lot of time I, don't, I think he finished it but quit uh, after the stage but yeah it's a pretty insane stage I'll try and have some fun on it and I'll join you on, this, on the last climb as well okay we're at the last climb now there's two guys out in front four man group here with the top four riders come to the door and then Yates Craddock seems like we're actually seeing some attacks right now don't really know we have uh, Tengua and Montecchiolo out in front Montecchiolo's in the early breakaway which is why he's still up here and he's been saving up a lot of energy since I attacked on the first climb that's why there's so many riders you can see the riders first ground are not even over the last climb yet and we are almost at the last climb they're like 50 kilometers after us at the moment uh, we're going to see some riders I think lose to the time limit today if I'm not completely mistaken but now we have one climb to go because they're attacked it's exciting to see uh, how strong he is haven't really hit the climb yet. Yates and Craddock are still on my wheel. So I'm slowly gaining right now. I'm hoping that he, he's going a bit too early. I'm a bit worried myself because I attacked early on as well. So uh, at least I've used a lot of energy on the stage so far. So hopefully I won't die out now on the final climb. 75. I feel like that's a good pace to be going at. Because there's still 8 clowns to go. So more than that seems like overreacting at this point. Craddock being dropped by Adam Yates. I think that was Monte Chiola I was overtaking here. We have Peter Kuhl and Kutsudo up, up in front. About a minute or and a half ahead. And that's Craddock dropped slowly getting closer to Adam Yates now as well. I feel like I can put it up to 80 here. Just because there's not that much left and we only have about 50 seconds up to Kutsudo now. Adam Yates to try and get on my wheel now and get a free trip up to Kutsudo. I'm excited to see if we can actually manage that. We are up with Contador now, but I have lost a lot of energy on this climb. It's uh, a bit road at the moment uh, for how much energy Contador has left. But it didn't go on my wheel immediately here. It's probably a sign that he's pretty done as well. Uh, he's close to me, but he's not going to gain time on me today. At least not that much. He'll probably win the sprint and the stage. Yeah, he's just relaxing right now on the wheel of my and he will win the stage and gain around 10 seconds I think on top of that but still we gain 50 seconds on Petakua and about a minute on Elgates great result like once again it's stage 14 going to Fuenza del Tiebo this time only 6 riders remaining in my team a lot of riders of course were eliminated by the time diff time gap on the previous Andorra stage uh, we're down to around 124 riders left they don't think Astana and Sky lost a lot of riders, but still I lost some of my worst riders, which means that at least I have some better riders particularly doing the stage now. Good news or bad news, I don't know. Let's just get into it. Last 15 kilometers now to finally entered Al Campo. Uh, it's a pretty flat climb at the beginning. It does get a bit steep at the end, where of course you have to have a lot in the left to win the sprint of them. So 28 riders in the peloton. Seems alright right here. I have Pambila particularly. Uh, should probably start now and actually we'll just see a attack here from Contador tries to attack early today once again tried as well last time in Andorra uh, it worked out for me ended up winning the stage uh, let's see if it works out again for him today I think I have to go to 75 instead actually because I feel like I'm falling backwards instead of forwards could probably actually go with 70 here because Contador is not that far ahead yet he's about 30-40 seconds ago he'll, bro uh, hit. he'll probably uh, Extend his lead, but then I'll have some money to the left at the end just by letting the other teams here. I mean, Sky have four riders meeting on the team. But John was pretty much the only guy plus uh, what's called Simon Yates, of course, crashed out. Just as my uh, best helper, the Favaga, actually crashed out like even before the Andorra stage last time. So he, I haven't had him for a while, which is pretty upsetting. But it's alright. See, the other favorites tagging now. We have Craddock, I think, on my wheel. Who's in fifth right now behind uh, who's in fourth? Pitankua, right? Yeah, Pitankua's in fourth. Uh, it's not really anybody battling these two guys as well. But about a minute up to Contador now, 75. Still a big group behind me, but this isn't the steep sections either. So 
It's a bit of a flex system here. I'm uh, actually dropping Craddock now, getting up to Betancourt. And uh, Nats is, has, is hanging up here as well. Still about a minute as we enter the flat section around now. Sakarin, a second over here. Surprising that uh, Kreda couldn't keep up for that long. But now we enter the steep part again soon. And then I'll go up to 85 for the rest of the climb. Because I can't let Contador have this big of a lead. Hopefully he's tired. Because I have to go to 90 at the end. Once we hit the red section, this is only like 6% climb at the moment. This is pretty much nothing. I have to go to 90 now, uh, because we're entering the 8% at the moment. Should get up to 10% as we hit the red section. Question is, is if I have the energy to even keep up, uh, even catch him. I don't think I can catch him, honestly. I think he's too far ahead. But I am going fast here at the end, I can tell you that. I am going fast. I'm just not going fast enough. He will take the stage, but uh, it's getting... Um, I was close to taking him. And I'm close to taking that bonus, uh, that time gap he did. I think he got like 10 seconds, uh, 4, 4 bonus seconds more than me, plus around 10 or 20 seconds. So, at the end, I, um, I was just doing the same, I just used my energy a bit too late this time. It's what happens. No big deal. Okay, we're at the bottom of the final climb. I feel a pretty steep one. I think the steepest final climb we've had so far. Maybe the one in the door was, was steeper, but this is a pretty, pretty crazy climb. And it's starting now, so let's get it started. Going in with 75, the lineman break rate just up ahead of us. Could be a uh, benefit for me if they plug in Contador a bit. Let's see what happens. I have Contador straight away on my wheel. Yates, uh, Bittencourt, Craddock, none of them are there. Let's see who's actually up here as well. And uh, Nerd, Sagrin, Valverde, Moscon, Elisande. None of them here yet. It's not an attack from Contador. I feel like I'm, go I'm getting myself plugged in here. Uh, Adam Yates coming back, because it has actually been blocked in a bit by the breakaway, maybe. Adam Yates trying to attack, on the other hand. Samiento from the breakaway trying to use his last bit of energy as well. Look behind us, because I've expected to see Contador now wanting to close the gap quickly again, to avoid letting something happen like it did on the first month stage, where I ended up winning. Then Kuro joining him as well. We have top four right here. Of course, Yates a bit in front of the rest of us. Samiento still here as well. Contador dropping Betancourt, trying to go past me up to Adam Yates as well. Is he using his attack power right here? That'd be a better surprise if he uses it so early on. But there is a bit of a flat season that coming up here soon. So maybe some risk for some of these riders. It's actually going pretty fast. 75 is not enough for me to actually uh, keep up with them. 80 at the moment here again. And then we'll go down to 75 for a bit before we enter the final section, which is all red and black. It's going to be crazy steep here. I'm pulling up to 80 again. It's a bit of a risk. Adam is stunned. Once again, it's down to me and comes it all. I don't think Adam is going to come back to this group again with the pace I'm sitting right now. So Contador is trying to go past me. Does he really have the energy to do so? If he has, that would be pretty amazing, because I feel like I've wrote, written this mountain pretty much as well as I could have. But maybe I'm just not strong enough at the moment. My ship is the greatest. Uh, Contador is stunned. So am I. I still have my red bar though, which is something Contador didn't have. So I'll probably win end up winning this stage and gain around a minute or so on Contador, which is perfect news at the moment. Since I believe I can gain another minute on the time trial. This is really important to me. And I mean, it's actually, it's probably stronger than Contador right now. But choose to just... Uh, go with him to the finish line. Meanwhile, I'll celebrate as I win my, I think it's the second stage win so far in the Vuelta España. 40 seconds, 50 seconds, a minute, a minute and a minute and 25 seconds, I think I got, plus bonus seconds. That's a nice bonus for me and uh, probably guaranteeing my tour win right here. Stage 16, the final of the week. Another crazy mountain stage. Two big climbs at the end, kind of one climb, and this climb seems just looking at it like it's really steep. So again, we'll see some differences again. Can I gain a minute and a half console again? I doubt it, but hopefully it'll happen. Okay, if I am 10 kilometers now, we have about a minute up to control who has decided to attack on the very steep last climb. I decided to play completely passive 
and not do anything at all and save many for this slime. So hopefully it works out for me. Probably won't because it never does. Uh, usually just going at your own pace and then just scrubbing over this is the best idea if you're the best rider in the Belgian. This time I tried something different and see how it works as we now insert the final climb. Only 6.5 thumbs long. I feel like 85 is possible to do all the way up. Okay, I can see it up there in the polka dotted jersey, white and blue. Not really polka dotted, but it's, it is started. Overtakes Montiguno and the white jersey as well. 85 here. I feel like I gained a lot of empty back again on the downhill. So let's see how much it really has left by right here. I'm getting closer to him right now. Only around 40, 35 seconds. Adam is struggling to keep up with me now. I'm up to consider I'm actually close the gap surprisingly quick to, uh, compared to what I expected. It does flatten out a bit at the end, I think. Yeah, this is the steepest section. So I feel like 85 is possible to go with for a long time. And uh, it does work out for me at the end. The minute gap wasn't anything at all for me. Clearly dropped him. I actually feel I can go at 90 again because I have my energy gel on top of that. So I'll give a little a bit of a sprint. Adam Yates actually dropped Contador as well. Contador won't even get second place this time. Let's look behind me so we can see our great celebration. You can see Yates there and Contador in third. Long way down to fourth place it seems. But yeah, I'll take my first stage win and my second stage win in the world. About a minute down. Adam is in second and Contador will take third place. So after two weeks of racing and most of the important months that is done, we now have a time to add on a few more mounts on the hill stages to go in the last week. But I have five and a half minutes to Contador, I'll probably gain some more on the time trial. So I should have this with Spain secured, but anything can happen and we'll see in the next video. See you guys next time, goodbye.